Hey guys, what up? Um, Santa Corey here, and today I have no gameplay, sadly enough. I am terribly sorry. But um, instead, I'm going to give you an early introduction into the editor, and hopefully you can just fly with it. Because this editor is way too simple for me to make any tutorials that will get any views off of. So, nonetheless, I will do what I can and successfully fail once again. So what, what you want to do is you want to go to the game directly if you directory. If you've been watching, you know where to go, but um, the the game directory is basically where you installed the game, and I got mine off Steam, so I'm going to go into my Steam Apps Common folder, and into Far Cry 2, and to Ben, and down to Far Cry 2 Editor.exe. This does take a few minutes to open, so bear with me. Also today, I did get a sweet hat. I just like that in there. Uh, if anyone wishes to see it, too bad because I only took one picture of it and me is in the full picture. It's a sweet hat though, it's from like 1910. Not like from 1910, but it's like, like a 1910 style hat. I love it. I love old times, if you can't tell. By the way, this is completely normal what happens next. And there we go. Alright, so you see this is open and you know you already have texture on the ground, which Crisis did not have. Um, you have a sky, which Crisis kind of had, but this is kind of a neat sky because I'll show you in future tutorials because I can't not use up everything I have already. Um, so let's start with the first tool and add a little bit of texture. Terrain Bump. Um, this is just going to add a mountain, basically. So, bam. Now with this, you know, we can add a little bit of distortion. You know, just try to create it. Just, oopsies. Whoa. All right. Um, just like work out the map a little bit. Um, I'm not a professional modeler. Sorry. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of noise to it. Uh, raise it lower. All right. Noise basically just uh, kind of distorts it a little bit. It changes the form of it basically it adds certain elements all right so uh that looks awful let's kind of round this out a little bit in the hardness um it really just depends on kind of a mountain you want i guess um i've changed this to about like six different forms um oh don't want that um you know, this is a really, really handled, handy tool for making mountains, this uh, terrain erosion. Whoa, I don't know what I just did out there. All right, um, keep it on the mountain. All right, and um, applying texture, which is the last thing we're going to go through in this. hope this isn't too hard. Um, you know, just assign something. We want this to be, uh, let's make this like a savanna type mountain, mountain rock. See how everything's just so easy to find compared to Crisis? And watch how it paints the texture just so nicely. Look at that. Look, Just look how beautiful it just paints it right on there. Everything just kind of goes together so nicely. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. And, um... You know, just kind of go back through here, you know, find some urban ground, you know. Oh, crap. I did not save that last one. Shit. All right. Uh, hold on. Let's do uh, Mountain Rock again. All right. Uh, you know, just kind of like fade off of the rock. Slowly fade. Slowly fade into the grass. Alright, um, so we need to... Alright. No, not a square brush. Wow, okay. That yeah, looks pretty good for that, don't you think? Alright, um, let's go back to our texture painter. And we need to assign... Um... Savant... It was to, uh, urban ground. That's what I wanted to use last time. You know, just kind of paint around the beautiful mountain which we have created. Just, you know, just kind of paint. Eh, I'm not sure if I like that or not. 
Um, doesn't quite go with it. So let's clear that out. See, it gets rid of it. How nice. Um, this looks more like a desert type thing. So let's do uh, desert dried riverbed. Actually, no, no, let's do cracked earth. I think that would go well with the scene. How's that looking? You can just zoom on in here, you know. Yeah, that's what I want. Alright, um, stick up the hardness a little bit here and just, you know, just coat it. Just absolutely coat it in the cracked earth. Really bring out the earth's details and the desert like area this lone mountain is. Um, I do think. Why do I keep doing that? Um, I think that really should, uh, get you through the most part of beginning your map construction. Um, don't be afraid to explore on your own. Um, exploring is the first part of learning. Um, so you know, play, play, play around with these tools. Now change things up. Grab this, this terrain ramp and get that hardness up and just go for it, you know? I don't even know what this does yet. I haven't played with this yet. I don't know. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Um, I'll play with that for a little bit because that could actually help me out quite a bit with creating plateaus. Plateaus. Yeah, that's a very interesting piece of equipment. Also, um, one thing I would add, if you want to spawn, uh, control G. Take a second, just give it time. Give it time. And you spawn with these guns. Sweet gun. Um, also, if you don't have Crisis, I highly suggest getting it. Also, you have um, unlimited ammo, and I think that's all I have to say. Um, awesome game. Thanks for watching. This is Xanthicory Tutorial 1 of the Far Cry 2 map editor. Signing out. Peace. Peace be with you.